Ahoy, fellas. We're back, babies, and better than ever, because I know, finally, that I can actually block in this game. I didn't know that. Okay, so it didn't do me much good, but also I figured out that being a brawler has a lot more benefits than um, being doing rush style while I'm fighting multiple enemies. Especially this number. Um, so, in case you're wondering how I found all that out, I was in fact, um, you know, having a jolly good time um, fighting Kuze, which I guess is a bit of a minor spoiler. I fight Kuze in the next episode, alright? Um, I had an, a jolly enough time doing this the first time, and I figure I'm gonna, oh jeez, spend enough time doing it in this episode that, uh, you know, uh, da, 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 reception room sofa, here, have a hold of it, okay, no, not even gonna let me have my fun, not cool. Ow, I gotta get away from this guy, uh, of course, yeah, should've seen that one coming, okay. Ahoy, fellas! That's right, I, you know, that, what I was about to say wouldn't have made any sense if I, uh, apparently I can block in this game, which is cool, I didn't know that. Down you go. But, yeah, um, I'm gonna be use my amazing fighting skills. Okay, pal in a lot- a litany of ways in this episode. Because I straight up did not know that I could do some of the things that I could do in this game. And they would have been nice to know, is all I'm saying. Okay. Wow, a double KO. Alright. I must say, my habit of just straight up, like, wow, okay, pal. My habit of just kind of pressing buttons is seeming to not work out very well this time. <laughs> there we go. Pow. Not cool. There's a good one. That's another good one. <laughs> I really can just straight up use... Um... Alright, here we are. Yeah, um... I'm not gonna lie, I'm... This is maybe going to be a boring episode. Um, from a commentary standpoint. Because I kind of know what's happening. Um, it's going to be a good one, but still maybe a little boring. For one, hey, I can... I can finally refill health. That was why I died in the last episode. I didn't know you could refill health in this game. Anyways, uh -huh. no, no you don't, pal. Goodbye. This guy, this guy's a real knockout. Anyways, so I figured rush is better for one-on-one -on -one fights because you can you can get the added benefit of stunning enemies sometimes, apparently, which is another thing that I didn't quite know because that just never happens. Boink. Wow. Ooh, ah. But, um, Brawler is 100% better for multi-man encounters. Oh, oh, hold on, my sword. Ah. Ah. 
I again did not know that I could block, which is really nice to know, in all honesty. <laughs> Look at this guy. What does he do? Anyways, boink. Oh, wow. That's nice. I'm glad I know I can do that. Anyways. Oh, Lee, he's back. Oh, and I missed the button input because I'm an idiot. Jeez, that hurts. This guy just took like a third of my health for no dang reason. By no dang reason, I mean, honestly, pretty good reason. Oh, did he just swear? In my good video? I'll be taking that. Or not. You know what? Yeah. yeah sure. Whatever. There we are. I'm like, okay, fine. I mean, that works too. There we are. Pow. Not cool. Let me see if I can do this pro- NICE! Okay, that's gonna be very helpful in the next episode when I fight Kuze. That's right. I'm just gonna say it. Because I fight Kuze in the next episode. And I'm saying that because I have an hour-long recording I deleted that, um, some large amount of time of which was me fighting Kuze. Also, I can put the chair away. Or not. Okay, I can't put the chair away. <laughs> nice to know. Wait, hold on. I can pick up a table. <laughs> you know I'm going with that. Hold on. Um, before that, though, absolutely, I am regaining health and stamina. Whatever, I'm just going to have to fight a man coming through this door anyways, you know? This guy is super resilient. You can really see why he's an executive. But, yeah, I had like an hour-long recording. I did finally beat Kuze. But it took a while, because god dang, that guy can fight, and I had no idea what I was doing. And, um, I did eventually get him, right, but it took a long time, and the recording I did get him in involved, um, let's say choice language, so I decided to just do it again, because that was probably a better idea than keeping such a uh, fun and cool and good recording. Here we go. Down we go. Oh great, I have to drop the table? You're kidding me. This is probably a fine enough area for Rush. I'm fighting this man on the stairs. That was, that was alright. Here we are. Boink. Okay. But, yeah, you'll see in probably the next episode. I'm just gonna guess the next episode, because why not? Um, oh, here's a good, fun area. <laughs> I might not, I might not actually wait till the next episode. I mean, I might make it. This is honestly a pretty short section when I'm not dying constantly. All right, put your wings away, boys. This is on live television. Please. I know there's not, not much to look at, but if any of if I see even a millimeter of wang, I'm it's my channel. You know what I'm talking about, boys? They know. Let's just kill this guy. I know I kind of have a don't kill people rule, but they kind of started it. Oi. Alright. Just, yeah. Just knock him. But yeah, that... That was my, uh... My... Not my one problem fighting Kuze. But one of the big ones. Oh, jeez, he's back. And, and of course, he has a knife. That was the wrong... Button... But yeah, one of the big problems fighting Kuze is that I couldn't block, and every time he hits you, you have a really hard time. Let's just put it that way. Because it, it leads directly into another attack, more often than not. And that's no bueno. And then that attack leads you to on the ground. 
and that's no fun. I don't like being on the ground, especially when fighting a guy that will immediately kick me when I hit the ground. Like, seriously. Being on the ground is no fun against a guy like that. Seriously, where did this guy even get the knife from? Put the knife down, boyo. Just like how I'm gonna put you down. You know? You'll see, honestly, when the fight with Kuze happens. What I'm talking about. Nope. Cause that guy is insane. There we go. Stay down, boyo. Here, taste some of that. And yeah, take have some more. And out you go. Come on, boy. Get get you some fresh air. <laughs> Uh, he's probably coming back, let's be honest. That guy's resilient. Seriously, you don't just climb this far up by not being the best, the most dang resilient fella you've ever seen. You know? I gotta say, I have some, some amount of respect for that. Anyways. 100%, I am using these now. Actually, I might not use both of them right now. It maybe would have been a good... You know, yeah. I'll do this in this episode. It's visual novel time, boyos. He's about to huff and puff some little piggy's house down. See, the cool thing about redoing recordings is that I can use the same jokes again. And hopefully I won't be screaming my head off, because it's actually nighttime this time. I did the last recording at like 4.30. Well, it was 4. 4 to 5. You know? But, um... Also, this guy's a boxer, so he knows what he's doing. He's 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 dang good at it too. Trust me, I I lost him like eight times. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I was I was screaming my dang head off, fighting him the last couple times before I beat him. Hopefully, that's not going to happen this time. I'm hoping to beat him within one or two, maybe three attempts. I don't remember how I did it the first time though. But hey, now I know. I can block, which is great. It's so good. It's so good to know. Yeah. Anyways, this guy's got himself a... Uh, what is that, the Jade Emperor? I have no idea. They're gonna be mad at me for that one. No, I think the Jade Emperor is a Japanese thing. Also, you wouldn't have expected this guy to be built this way. I guess I should have expected this guy to be built this way, but seriously, his face makes him look like he's 40. Guys that are 40 don't look like this all that often. Seriously, he's got the freaking neck down. He's like 20, 22. Head up, he's like 55. Jeez. Don't come to him, he's a dang boxer. I found out the hard way that middling distance is kind of the only way to fight Daisaku Kuze. That's good. Okay, here we go. Let's see if blocking actually works. Okay, so blocking doesn't work. I found out the hard way that blocking doesn't work. And look at that. My health is gone. Eh, yeah. Okay. Okay. There we go. Here we are. See, see, what I don't get is how blocking is supposed to work to begin with. I think I'll go Brawler, because he seems to have a much better blocking stance when I'm in Brawler mode. Does it just get broken that easy? Yeah, I guess so. Okay, cool. Alright. That's really nice to know now. I'm glad to know that I am actually just have useless skills in this fight. Oh, look at that. Sheesh. Honestly, I think Brawler's kind of the little way that it go. Because, I mean, I can do stuff like this a little bit. When I'm in um, rush mode. But it's not exactly all that helpful. Like... Okay, pal. Because the whole point of rush mode is to be able to, like, stun him. I don't seem to be much of a stunner. 
Also, you know, I'll just chug myself an item in the middle of the fight while I'm doing all this crap. Oh, jeez. Seriously, I, I don't know how the blocking system is supposed to work. Am I supposed to be able to, like, block an attack and then hit him again or something like that? Yep. Okay, that didn't work. I found out that if I kind of keep him at... Okay. Okay, pal. If I kind of keep him at middling distance, is what I was about to say. Middle distance is fine, because he'll make an attack that he can't actually commit to. Or not. Um, but, you know, that sometimes doesn't work. Try it, boyo. Unless it actually... See, that's kind of what I don't get, is that my block just breaks instantly. There we are. Who's ready for phase two, boyos? I'm ready for a dang liver punch to this man. Please tell me I can hit him while he's down. No, I can't. Okay. Who's ready for it? Skadoosh. For this big ol' skadoosh bag. See, that's another thing, though. The big attacks you can't block. So that's probably really what it is. So that I can't, I can't block some of the attacks. And then I am unable to dash away from them because I'm not good at this game. That's my fault. My thing is that I keep playing with the stance on, which is a stupid idea. Dear God, he really knocked me. Okay, there we go. He keeps doing this. He's got me in this crouching guile combo. You know? And I can- Okay! That was a character model thing. And there I go. Yep. This fight's hard, man. It really is. Um, and this is what? <sighs> Let's try again. I really think Brawler might be the way to go. Because then I can at least, like, grab him out of it. Uh, that kind of almost worked. Say goodbye to your nuts, pal. Okay, your face will do fine, I guess. Okay, yeah. He does hit me with the, the quick ones a bit often. There we go. And then I smack his nuts. Just a big, a quick little nut smack. There we go. And another big old kick to the cojones. Just because I don't expect to be able to keep my meter very long. I really don't expect it at all. I'm seriously, ju I'm just going to keep rinse and repeating this because it seems to work out relatively well. Ow. Okay. That was it working relatively well, mind you. He keeps his guard up pretty dang well, in all honesty. Like, I, I've got a lot of... I'm not going to say I have all that much respect for him, because I'm still beating the heck out of him. But honestly... Here we are. I was ready for it this time. I actually know when it starts. One of the problems I was having in my original recording was that they really just kind of throw that out here. Like, they don't actually... There we go. That was something that I could actually... down and a big old kick to the face that's a nice one in the cojones okay that's a block scattering punch if I ever saw one I guess that's maybe the point of a jab well no that no. It depends I suppose on what the purpose of your jab is what she's gonna do something like that Haha, <laughs> okay. Nope. Oh, oh, that was a trade. Okay, it wasn't a good trade, though. I landed on my... Okay. I thought I was going to be able to block that. 
I was kind of able to block that. Okay. One thing... Okay. I know how I was complaining in the last episode about um, not being able to... Um, block. Not block. I wasn't able to counter. Because that's a mechanic in this game. But apparently that's only Brawler. Like, they have their own stuff in this game. Because Rush has the whole... Um, Come here, boy. Okay, never mind. He doesn't like being touched. That's why he's a boxer. Watch. Here we go. Alright, that's... Yeah. See, I just wanted to give you all a bit of a taste of Kuze's moves. Watch. Now he's gonna get me in a corner. This hasn't actually happened before. He, he, has, he, do, he does a good job of backing off and not using things that I literally can't deal with. Sometimes. Um, sometimes. Come on, down. Down, boy. Like right now. Say goodbye to your teeth. He is honestly a very resilient man. Back to Brawler. Can I grab him? He actually... Oh, okay, never mind. I was like, wow, he actually let me do it this time. Come on, try and hit me. Come on. There we go, yeah. Okay, that that worked a whole heck of a lot worse for me than I thought it would, in all honesty. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, alright, yeah. That's, um... This is going about as well for me as it normally does. Brawler form is honestly kind of OP. Because I've got the counter. Okay, now he's going to kill me. I just have to get a punch in. There we go. Ooh. Second try. I'm actually pretty proud of that. There we go. Visual novel time, boys. Oh my gosh. Jeez, pal. We've got a problem. Anyways. We made it, and I didn't even, I didn't even ruin my throat again. Give you a hand, pal. Haven't you gotten enough hands, dude? I hope I don't have to fight these fellas, especially if they're as tough as Kuze here. <clears throat> and here comes the big man himself. He is pretty big. Sheesh! Look at that gut. God, he looks like Italian Mafia. <laughs> Not really. Anyways. Good old Dojima himself. Wow. We got the main man to come out for us. What a guy. <laughs> yeah, what he said. I don't have to fight anymore, you guys. That was fun enough as is. I didn't even actually use the block. I, like, hardly used the block. It didn't work out very well. Yeah, you're no Kazuma. I actually respect that guy. Wow. I absolutely did not waste a guy on a collection sword. Not at all. I gotta say, I'm glad I got this far in the relatively small amount of time that I took to do it. I mean, I guess I'm kind of sad that I did still spend two attempts on Kuze, but this is at least more acceptable than the hour-long original recording full of screaming and expletives, so... Yeah, I won't make any trouble for you anyways. Yeah. Are you gonna murder a civilian, Kuze? What are you gonna do, huh? Yeah, you did do that, pal. Come on, guys, you heard him. Yeah, that's bad form, bro. They know they were there. 
I've forgiven Kuze. I had my time to reflect, and I feel much better about my many losses with my two wins. In all honesty. <laughs> How about that? Yeah, Kuze, you love this accountability. Should. <laughs> this is a fun time. Yakuza, go ahead and do it, huh? Commit ritual seppuku, my friend. This was always the funny thing about uh, the whole honor bound Imperial Japan thing. They would be like, well, you're a criminal. Here, have a blade. You know what to do with it. And they'd actually do it. Isn't that interesting? Nothing some dishonorable little twat such as myself would understand. I kind of get it. Yeah. Yeesh! Yeah. <laughs> this guy is only losing his panky. I made a lot of jokes in my original recording about how now he can't beat me because he won't be able to graze me with his little finger and knock me down. But, um, you know, he could probably still kick the crap out of me if I'm being honest. But. I beat him once. I can beat the crap out of him again. I really hope he doesn't come back, though. <laughs> I don't like fighting boxers. Yes, sir. -y. Anyways, here's some stuff that I haven't seen yet because I skipped past it. All. That he did. I am glad you think so. Nice. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Dojima. Mr. Dojima. I present a dogeza for the Dojima. Very nice. Good form. Because I didn't do it. Yes, sir. He goes, hmm, interesting. Yeah, exactly. Kazuma san has got nothing to do with this crap. Nice. I'm still going to take responsibility, though, because that's the kind of man I am. Uh, I'm not going to lie, fellas. I'm out of jokes for tonight. It's 8.30. I used to go to bed at 8.30. I still sometimes go to bed at 8.30. And I'm going to go to bed at 8.30. When I'm old and gray. Yeah, I'm gonna be like, oh boy, it's 8.30. Yeah, I'll probably sound like, oh boy, it's 8.30. I'm gonna have to take my pills and go to bed. Yeah, I'm just kidding. I don't really see myself being the kind of person that ends up having to take a bunch of pills. Hopefully. I really hope not. But, I don't know. The killer? Let the police sort that out. You're a civilian now. <laughs> the police are probably gonna make. Probably think I'm the killer, you know? You're a civilian, dang it. You get through your head and stop whining. <laughs> Screwed up, pal. You get it? Yeah, 
These are facts. If I had just known. Yes, I did. Nice. The screw up made it hard for us to get that land, Kiryu. you? It was Kazuma that brought you in. Accountability falls on him. Pow! Nah! This ain't got nothing to do with Kazuma. Nothing to do with him. None whatsoever. I feel like it was a bit more than a minute. No coming back once you're out of the Yakuza, I find you. Suggest you find a nice little job. Oh, I'll be back. If I weren't, there wouldn't be eight other games. Probably. I didn't count them. So who knows? I sure don't. I never played any other ones. I'm starting with zero. And not going beyond zero. What now, huh? Sheesh. Well, I started with a loan shark, so maybe I should go after real estate investors or something. Who knows? Actually, real estate investor would be a good idea because they're trying to develop the land. I sure wouldn't know anything about that. That's right, it's still visual novel time, baby. 11.28 p.m., that's like basically what time it is right now, except it's actually 8.32 p.m. Oh, jeez. What, did somebody just kick me in the face? Somebody named, um... Uh... Daisuke Kuze? I already forgot his name. I remembered it in the end. Tatemasuka. Mysterious man. Is this a guy with an eye patch? Please tell me it's the guy I'm thinking it is. It doesn't look like the guy I think it is. The guy with the eye patch, Mr. Eye Patch, man, appeared a bit gaunt, if I'm being honest. But he was also consistently shown without a shirt, so it could be. Oh, you've waited a long time, you say. Might I have a moment of your time? Uh, depends on how long that moment is. Yeah, that is absolutely not. I patch man, one hundred percent. It's much more round face. I patch man has a very slim, gaunt-looking face, and I got myself an entire million yen. I can use the million yen. Wow! I got myself a whole heck of a lot more than a million yen. Dang, these guys are worth three three million dollar wedding ceremonies. <laughs> three million yen wedding ceremonies, sorry. <laughs> well that's gonna be the end of the episode. Sheesh. Yeah, and on the next episode we're gonna see more visual novel and we're gonna get into the real estate broker in the shadows. Not a real estate investor. A broker. I'm sure there are some very clear differences for that. So till then, like, comment, and subscribe. Or I'm going to beat the ever-loving crap out of you. And you're going to have to take off your own fourth finger on your left hand. You're going to have to do it yourself. They're going to give you a knife for it. And you're going to be honor-bound to remove that little finger from your hand. And then you'll never be able to properly play violin again. Yup. That's the penalty. And also everybody will know, I guess. But yeah. That's the way the cookie crumbles. Well, goodbye! Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.